It's time to step up your game. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You're listening to a special presentation of Game On. Coming to you from the Calgary and Comic Entertainment Expo. We got interviews, we got cosplay, we got special guests. So get ready, because your presentation of Game On starts now. Game On! Game On! Game On! We've got a special guest joining us. I'm Jeff Johnson here from GameAndTrain.com. We're at the Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo, and we're joined by voice actor Brendan Hunter. Brendan, how are you doing? Doing wonderful. Really happy to be at the Expo. Yeah, so how are you enjoying the show so far? I mean, a lot of huge crowds. I think Calgary's an amazing expo. I've been touring quite a bit this past year, and I don't know how little Calgary has one of the biggest cons in Canada. It's amazing. Now, just going through your career as a voice actor, I mean, there's everybody's got their own start. Everybody's got their own way of how they got into the business. What was it for you? I moved to Calgary in 2000, and I, I had an agent, and she said, you know, there's this studio in town that does the voice work. So I actually took my little brother with me, and we went down to the studio, and we both got signed on the spot, and we both went right into Dragon Ball GT at the time. And he played Baby and I played Oob, and we did probably 100 episodes, and just it launched the entire spectrum of what we do now. Right, and just looking at some of the characters that you've done, I remember you from Dragon Ball G2, but also Tien from Dragon Ball. What was it like to be a part of this big franchise, you know, that Akira Toriyama made so many years ago? Well, I did do Dragon Ball, and uh, they are recutting Z into Kai right now, so we've got a couple of things coming out which are really exciting, and Tian is probably the one the fans are most familiar with when I go to when, when I do conventions, so that's been great. Certainly I've, I've loved that, especially the Dragon Ball incarnation, I got to do a lot in that one. Not, you know, he's got kind of a secondary uh, role in the Z and Kai incarnations, but, you know, obviously he's, he's a big, fun fighting guy, which I don't always get, you know, I'm not a huge guy myself, so I get maybe a lot more of the fancy voices and then I get some muscle voices which are really great. So for you with all the roles that you've done what roles would you say have stood out to you the most that have resonated with you most? I really enjoyed doing uh, Hisoka on Hunter x Hunter that was a super fun franchise and I'm hoping that the redux they're doing in Japan right now will come over because I had a, a super a lot of fun doing that one he's a lot creepier a lot you know more uh, of a dandy than the, the muscle guys I do so that's really fun for me. And then, geez, I've had a lot of good times <laughs> with Card Fight Vanguard is huge overseas right now. I know the card game is big in Canada, but the show is only available online, I think. And I get to play one of the commentators for the entire run, who's, again, a really eclectic, funny guy named Dr. O. And Dr. O always has all these O-isms. So everything is O-amazing. And it's so silly, but it's really fun to, to voice him. Sounds pretty exciting. Yeah. So looking at your career then, what advice can you give to anybody aspiring to get into voice acting? Well, I guess it's like anything with acting. It's trying to recognize what's unique about yourself and not trying to, you know, doing voices and doing uh, impressions is awesome. And I, I love doing it as well. But, you know, it's finding what's unique to you and what's saleable as, as you as a unique brand. So not thinking that you need to sound like X, Y, and Z on the uh, current shows, but going in and finding your, your own unique voice and, and being surprised at what producers and casting directors want you to partake in. That's, that's been my journey, is thinking it always had to be muscle guys and then finding that there's this whole other world of kind of really eclectic, maybe, you know, for me, I get a lot of like the more effeminate roles, which I never would have gravitated towards, but it's just what the producers found I could do in a really unique way, so... Brendan, thank you very much for joining me today. If people want to know more about you, where should they go? Well, they can follow me on uh, Facebook, and uh, it's just Brendan Hunter. I'm also on Twitter, Brendan underscore Hunter. And, you know, I'm touring a lot of conventions, so hopefully I'll meet you on the road. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Thank you. That was Brendan Hunter. I'm Jeff Johnson. You're listening to Game On. A little bit of the old. A little bit of the new. I am assuming. And everything in between. You're listening to Game On on GameandTrain.com.